G'day everybody. Well, as you can tell by the absolutely terrible mess that's on the table at the moment, I've uh, been having a bit of a mess around with some high intensity discharge lamps, uh, specifically being high pressure sodium. Uh, some of you may remember this uh, transformer which has been sitting on the uh, table over there for the past couple of months. Um, in that time, I very slowly worked out that it's the ballast for a 600 watt high pressure sodium lamp. So, I've, uh, as you can see, I've actually been building up a nice ballast box for it. Um, it's got the igniter, it's got the filter caps, which are crucial. I know there's a lot of questions on whether you really need them or not, and yes you do, if you want a decent, uh, a decent running lamp. Um, yeah, you've got the ballast, it's all bolted in. This thing's all in a nice, uh, carryable unit, which is made out of the casing of an old, uh, amplifier. As a Sony unit as part of the uh, model number there for it, uh, if anybody's particularly interested. But, um, that amp blew up a long time ago, it blew its transistors, and, uh, so it's now become the housing for a, uh, very powerful light. Uh, can either be used as a high bay lamp or a, uh, even a grow light or something. That's what the other uh, bulb was advertised for. That's still coming in the mail, but um, hopefully it should work on this. Uh, in the meantime, I uh, also got this in the mail as well. It's a 70 watt uh, high pressure sodium lamp, which is the drop in equivalent for the metal halide. Uh, that's 70 watts as well. So today we're going to be uh, chucking this in and seeing uh, if it'll work on it or not. As you can see, I've got the uh, cover off this. Here's a quick look inside of how I've got it all set up. I know it's terribly messy, but it works pretty good, so I'm uh, pretty pleased with it. I'll, just, I'll get all that closed up first, and then we'll uh, chuck the bulb in, get the, uh, the uh, metal halide out. It's an E27 base and sells this one. Uh, this is the one for this is actually Mogul E39, uh, and I've got a converter coming as well. That converts uh, medium E27 into Mogul, and that, uh, that'll hopefully fit, but... That's it. High pressure sodium. Beautiful things. I love lamps like this. So uh, we'll chuck that in and uh, see what happens. It's always advisable to give it a uh, wipe over with a uh, microfiber cloth and that way that'll uh, get rid of your fingerprints off of the, uh, the bulb because any uh, oily, watery stuff will cause uneven expansion and risk of cracking the, uh, the glass envelope. So always give it a good wipe over. Nah, uh, chuck the screws in the back and give her a test run, see what happens. Alrighty, let's give this thing a test run, see how it goes. As you know, I've cleaned the bulb off. Just set the camera there. I will, uh, have to zoom out occasionally on that because it's going to get kind of bright, but, uh, let's give it a shot. Ooh, nice. Ooh, nice. Yeah, there we go, we've got an established, uh, arc. And it says it's going to take about five minutes for it to warm up, so we'll, uh, I'll probably fast forward this, or at least jump it. No, no, that radio is up too loud again. I'll just turn that down, or off, even better. That's better. It's working really nicely. Love that orange glow that the sodiums give off. Beautiful. It'd be nice if I could get this one and the uh, metal halide going in uh, in parallel with each other. Although I don't really want to push the ballast too hard because it is only a 70 watt, which is what the bulbs are rated for. But you've got to be careful on what you are what you put on. So that's pulse start. As you can see, it's got a precision arc tube, and that's uh. Just the standard sodium. You know, I'll stop talking and let it warm up more. It's getting really bright now. Probably won't be as bright as the halide, but it's still impressive. If 
definitely makes a lot more noise than the uh, metal halo does. I've got the, uh, the clear version of this coming as well in the mail, along with I think another one of those in the 600 watt for this one. So there'll be videos on all of those when I get them. That's working really nicely now. It is chucking out quite a little bit of light. <laughs> It probably will be a little bit of UV coming off. I mean, it's a little bit of uh, warmth coming off, but it's doing all right. Let this run for a bit. Just let it run in. It says I uh, run it for about five minutes before uh, turning it off. If it's a brand new bulb, but say um, Satco uh, high grade. AD1770 watt, high pressure sodium. Of course, it doesn't matter what the ballast is as long as it's 70 watts, so there's always our health and safety labels all over things like that. It's slowly getting brighter. I mean, it's, as you can see, it's lighting things up a bit. Okay, we'll do a uh, de energize of the, uh, the device, as Rudalco would say. That's it. It's very hot. I know some lamps prefer to be run in certain uh, certain orientations, but I don't think it really matters with these uh, sodium lamps. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching.